from Joyce's Ulysses, uh, Molly's Soliloquy, towards the end, in my edition, uh, page 730. I'll go out, I'll have him eyeing up at the ceiling. Where's she gone now? Make him want me, that's the only way. A quarter after, what an unearthly hour. I suppose they're just getting up in China now, combing out their pigtails for the day. We'll soon have the nuns ringing the Angelus. They've nobody coming in to spoil their sleep, except an odd priest or two for his night office. The alarm clock next door, a cock shout, clattering the brains out of itself. Let me see if I can doze off. One, two, three, four... Five. What kind of flowers are those they invented, like the stars? The wallpaper in Lombard Street was much nicer. The apron he gave me was like that. Something. Only I only wore it twice. Better lower this lamp again and try again so as I can get up early. I'll go to Lambs there beside Findlater's and get them to send some flowers to put about the place in case he brings him home tomorrow. Today, I mean. No, no. Friday's an unlucky day. First, I want to do the place up some way. The dust grows in it, I think. While I'm asleep, the dust grows in it, I think, while I'm asleep. Then we can have music and cigarettes. I can accompany him. First, I must clean the keys of the piano with milk. With milk. What, what will I wear? What shall I wear? A white rose or those fairy cakes and Lipton's. Those fairy cakes and Lipton's. I love the smell of a rich, big shop. At seven and a half pence a pound. Or the other ones with the cherries in them and the pinky sugar. 11 pence a couple of pounds, of course. A nice plant for the middle of the table. I'd get that cheaper in Wick. Where is this? I saw them not long ago. I love flowers. I'd love to have the whole place swimming in roses. God of heaven, there's nothing like nature. The wild mountains, then the sea and the waves rushing. Then the beautiful country with fields of oats and wheat and all kinds of things. And all the fine cattle going about that would do your heart good to see. Rivers and lakes and flowers. All sorts of shapes and smells and colours. Colours springing up, even out of the ditches. Primroses and violets. Nature it is. As for them saying there's no God, I wouldn't give a snap of my two fingers for all their learning. Why don't they go and create something, I often asked him. Atheists or whatever they call themselves. Go and wash the cobbles off themselves first. Then they go howling for the priest and they're dying. And why? 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 Because they're afraid of hell on account of their bad conscience. Ah, yes, I know them well. Who was the first person in the universe before there was anybody that made it all? Who? Ah? That they don't know. Neither do I, so there you are. He might as well try to stop the sun from rising tomorrow. The sun shines for you, he said, the day we were lying among the rhododendrons on Ho's head, in the grey tweed suit and his straw hat. The day I got him to propose to me, yes. First I gave him the bitter seed cake out of my mouth. And it was leap year, like now, yes, 16 years ago. My God, after that long kiss, I nearly lost my breath. Yes, 
He said I was a flower of the mountain. Yes, so we are flowers all. A woman's body. Yes, that was one true thing he said in his life. And the sun shines for you today. Yes, that was why I liked him. Because I saw he understood or felt what a woman is. And I knew I could always get round him. And I gave him all the pleasure I could, leading him on till he asked me to say yes. And I wouldn't answer the first. Only looking out over the sea and the sky, I was thinking of so many things he didn't know, of Mulvey and Mr. Stanhope and Hester and Father and old Captain Groves and the sailors playing. All birds fly and I say stoop and washing up dishes they called it on the pier and the sentry in front of the governor's house with the thing round his white helmet, poor devil half roasted, and the Spanish girls laughing in their shawls and their tall combs and the auctions in the morning, the Greeks and the Jews and the Arabs and the devil knows who else from all the ends of Europe, and Duke Street and the Fowl Market, all clucking outside Larby Sharon's and the poor donkeys, sipping, slipping, half asleep, and the vague fellas in their cloaks asleep in the shade on the steps, and the big wheels of the carts of the bull bulls and the old castle thousands of years old, yes, and those handsome moors all in white and turbans like kings asking you to sit down in their little bit of a shop and Rhonda with the old windows of the posadas Glancing eyes, a lattice, hid for her lover to kiss the iron, and the wine shops half open at night, and the castanets, and the night we missed the boat at Algeciras. The watchman going about serene with his lamp, and oh, that awful deep down torrent, oh, and the sea, the sea, crimson sometimes like fire, and the glorious sunsets, and the fig trees in the Alameda gardens, yes, and all the queer little streets, and pink and blue and yellow houses, and the rose gardens, and the jessamine, and geraniums, and cactuses, and Gibraltar as a girl where I was a flower of the mountain. Yes, when I put the rose in my hair like the Andalusian girls used. Or shall I wear a red? Yes, and how he kissed me under the Moorish wall. And I thought, well as well him as another and then I asked him with my eyes to ask again yes and then he asked me would I say yes to say yes my mountain flower and first I put my arms around him yes and drew him down to me so he could feel my breasts all perfume Yes, and his heart was going like mad. And yes, I said, yes, I will. Yes.